Cactus 1549 hit birds to lost to us on both ends. We may end up in the Hudson. I've been an airline pilot for almost 30 years, and it was a day like 10,000 other days I've had, and we were suddenly confronted with the challenge of a lifetime. Sully Sullenberger landed a plane in the Hudson with 155 souls on board, a day that could have been one of the blackest in history, but it ended up being an extraordinary day. I did want to go see Sully because being authentic to the story is most important. We ended up using the real rescue people from the event itself. The ferry captain, that is the real guy that was the first ferry to arrive. The frogmen that leapt out of the helicopter were the real frogmen. Everybody wanted to be involved because the experience is such an incredible memory for them. I was heading to Jersey, and I saw a plane coming to rest in the river. Holy Christ, that's a plane. We got passengers on the wings. We're in route. It was about 36 degrees in the water and near freezing. We caught a quick glimpse of somebody that was way off to the side. 50 yards, go! I took off my tank and my weight belt to get to that person as fast as we could. You OK? Yeah. When we came ashore, the American Red Cross were there saving lives. I was really proud of the response that we had and the volunteers that provided tremendous support. I need to know who's hurt and how badly, and I need to count passengers and crew. That's what really makes it, I think, the miracle in the Hudson, and how everybody joined together to make it a success. I do feel that I was part of something miraculous. It's definitely a miracle. For a second, I just thought that I was going to die right there. It was a very emotional experience for us, and I'm glad that this story is being told. It wasn't just me, it was all of us. We all did it. We survived.